Hey everyone, so here I'm going to present to you uh, the news on Agat and uh, his, its uh, interface, QAgat. So here you have an image of the old interface. And first I'd like to um, say a few words on what is Agat. So it's a tool to ease post-processing of abinit files, but not only it can post-process all the code uh, files, like PhonoPy, VASP, and so on. It's a fast and user-friendly interface to do the post-processing tool. It has many various functionalities to explore physics for MD, phonons, perovskite, and so on. You don't need any um, tool chain to do the post-processing uh, thing. Everything is included in the package and in the software. So you don't need to learn any uh, script language or anything. You just click on buttons if you want. And if you'd like to, you can automatize uh, the procedure with the script, but it's not mandatory. So here on the left, you have a screenshot of the legacy Agat code, which is a more uh, like a VI interface, so you have to type all the command. But here on the right, you have the new fully written uh, Qt interface of Agat with all buttons functionalities available. And I will come back to this uh, interface a little bit after. The new functionalities are for the visual, so it has full 3x rotation. You can display the bonds and change the, the bonding uh, lens. You can shift uh, the cell. You can visualize up to millions of atoms. So I tried like six, six millions, and it worked on the last uh, generation GPU. And you can uh, visualize full spin and phonon uh, on the structures, either with arrows or animations. The files that uh, you can read, in addition to the old uh, one that I already presented two years ago, are a full um, history file support, the NetCDF history file from Abinit, um, with and without um, image support. You can read all the Abinit binary files uh, if you need information from the header. So the Abinit header is written inside, and it supports also the ETSF format that use that is used for uh, the ground state uh, GSR file uh, or some others. And you can also import some files with SSH, SFTP, or ECP if you want to retrieve files from uh, your uh, cluster. Uh, but the functionalities, so now you can compute uh, thermodynamic functions um, like a push process tool of the um, phonon density of state. Uh, in the quasi-harmonic approximation, you have the electric field response uh, implemented by Marcus, and you can project um, an MD trajectory on some modes that you want to follow if you want to study some phase transition and you are interested in some special mode, so you can follow one, two, or the modes you want to follow the transition. You can plot uh, the electric density in 3D, and you can process also the PIMD um, physics if you want to compute the centroid or the duration tensor, and many more. Uh, there are three new tools. So you have a new tools to um, display the bond structure uh, for electrons and phonons, but also to plot um, the, the fat bands for phonons. So they are calculated inside. Uh, you can use a PHBST a NetCD file or a PhonoPy YAML format if you want, and you can also do it for the electrons using the FatBands NetCD file. Uh, you can uh, display all the atoms or a new selected number of atoms, um, and for the electrons you can display some uh, special uh, projection like uh, the angular momentum or the magnetic momentum if you want. So, uh, another tool that I implemented recently is a uh, Q-conducti. So this is a very fast tool to compute the conductivity uh, as a post-process tool for the OPT file. So it, um, it does the same calculation as uh, the conducti code that is uh, included inside Abinit, but it's very much faster. And there is a new interface with TDP, but I will talk about this in uh, François Botin talk. So here is the new Qt interface. So on the left, so you have um, all the um, buttons that you can use, the visualization uh, viewport here, 
and a console if you want to uh, see the comments that are used or uh, the warnings or errors. So here are the few tabs that you can uh, use to customize, plot, uh, and so on. So here for the MD, you have all the tools you need to um, see what's happening inside uh, during your MD trajectory. Uh, you can uh, customize uh, the visualizations for um, the rotation, uh, the atoms, the bounds, and so on. So you can plot octahedra, I mean, a lot of things you can do. Uh, settings also, if you want to change some um, parameters for uh, the view, how to export the images, uh, customize the OpenGL, and so on. And the last tab is uh, the tools that you can have. So the first one is for bond structure, the second one is for the conductivity, and the last one for uh, the um, uh, TDEP interface. So here is an example of the new QDispiration tool. So here you just load a PHBST file, and you have some option to visualize the funnel. So, oops. so here is an example with a fat bands calculated. Uh, directly inside. You can customize the pun, the label, and everything you want. And here, um, they are disabled here because they are not electrons but phonons. But for electrons here, you can have some more options for the fat bands. This is the um, Q-conductivity tool to compute con electronic conductivity. So you just load the opt file from Abinit and you can select everything you want. So the units, number of frequency, uh, for on the x-axis, uh, the units, the frequency range, the smearing. Uh, you can uh, have some selection rules to select only a few bands or energy range uh, to calculate the conductivity so you can explore uh, with uh, is all the properties and where the peaks are from. And the last one is for uh, TDEP, as I said. So here just a, a preview, but I will explain this in uh, François talk. So I uh, thank you for your attention. If you have any question, I will be pleased to answer.